and why does fire burns right this is a question that comes in our mind uh, when we are just a, a serious science lover or uh, you have the interest in knowing the things better now if you just tell your friend that uh, do you know why does fire burns I mean this, this he is just going to you know what you just wanted to know I mean are you out of your mind you were just wanted to know what is fire and how does it burn I mean fire burns that's it but today in this video I'm going to give you the late the facts the real science behind why fire burns and how because the things is that everything there is a science behind them so in this video within the very few minutes you are going to get all the uh, real science behind why and how does fire burns so basically the history of this fire exists in this world is that according to the Greek mythology the gods took fire away from the people a hero named Prometheus stole it back as a punishment the gods changed the thief to a rock where an eagle fat on his liver and every night his liver grew back and each day the eagle returned like other myths and the Prometheus story offered one explanation for the origins of fire it doesn't have offer clues to why things burn that's what science is for so this was all the history that how in the past the fire exists and what was it believed in the past now some ancient Greeks believed that the fire was the basic element of the universe as one that gave rise to the other elements like earth water and air that the ether that the stuff that ancients thought stars were made of was later added to the list of the elements by the philosopher Aristotle now the scientists use the word element to describe most basic types of matter but fire does not qualify a fire's colorful flame it results from a chemical reaction which is known as combustion during combustion atoms rearrange themselves irreversibly in other words when something burns there is no unburning of it or they can't get back with their same uh, physical structure or their physical appearance fire also is called sometimes a glowing reminder of the oxygen that pervades our world any flame that requires three ingredients one is oxygen fuel and heat lacking even one a fire won't burn even if there is uh, one of them is missing then the fire won't burn the three ingredients are very essential for a fire to burn now as an ingredient of air oxygen is usually the most easiest to find however on the planets such as Venus Mars where the atmosphere containing very far less oxygen there the fire would be very hard to start so any number of sources it may apply heat when lighting a match the friction between the match head and the surface against its trucks releases enough heat to ignite the coated head and in the avalanche fire the lightning delivers the heat fuel is what burns and almost anything can burn but some fuels have a far higher flash point and a temperature at which they'll ignite than the others people feel that heat has warmed on the skin not atoms the building blocks of all the materials atoms just get angsty as they warm they initially vibrate and as they warm even more they start dancing faster and faster applying enough heat and atoms it will break the bonds linking them together if we take the example of the wood it contains molecules made from bound atoms of carbon hydrogen and oxygen when wood gets enough hot such as when lightning hits or a log is tossed on an already burning fire this bond breaks and this process is called pyrolysis it releases the atoms and energy unbound atoms from a hot gas mingling with oxygen atoms in the air so this glowing gas was not the fuel itself it produces some spooky blue light that appears at the base of a flame but the atoms that doesn't stay single long they quickly bond with oxygen in the air in a process called oxidation 
when carbon bonds with oxygen it produces carbon dioxide which is a colorless gas and when hydrogen bonds with oxygen it produces water vapor even as the wood burns fires burn only when all the atomic suffering releases enough energy to keep the oxidation going in a sustained chain reaction more atoms released from the fuel combined with the nearby oxygen and this releases the more energy which releases more atoms and this hits the oxygen and so on so the orange and the yellow colors in a flame it appears when the extra free floating carbon atoms get hot and it begins to glow this carbon atoms also make up the thick black soot that forms on a grilled burgers or at the bottom of the pot heated over a fire so this is how the fire works